Before we even get started, let's grab something and write our name on our blank paper. For this one, I'm gonna pick a corner and maybe I'll outline it. Then I'm just gonna grab any color and I'm gonna start to make whatever shape I wanna make my bursts radiate out of. For this one, I'm gonna do a crescent moon. You don't wanna make it too big. You wanna make it fairly small so you can fit a few of them on the paper. So go ahead and draw whatever shape you want with whatever color and color them in. So as you can see, I have three crescent moons. They're not too small, but they're not too big. This will leave enough space for me to do my color bursts. You don't wanna to draw too many of something. You wanna have space left over. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my next color. I'm gonna to start to make little fuzzy lines. I wanna stay really close around the crescent moon so it mimics or makes the same shape as the crescent itself. Notice how I keep turning my paper. This makes it really easy to follow the shape of whatever it is we drew. You can choose several colors. I'm gonna stick with the same one and the same pattern for each crescent. Now that I'm finished with my second color, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my third. And once again, I'm gonna keep my little fuzzy lines really close and tight next to the first set that I drew. This will, again, help mimic the crescent shape or copy it. Also, again, as I make each set of lines, I keep turning my paper.
Now that I'm done with that color, I'm gonna move on to my next color. I like to keep a scrap paper next to me so I can test out the colors and see if I like them before I actually put them on my project. So once again, I'm gonna make my little fuzzy lines really close to the last set that I drew. And I'm going to keep turning my paper as I do this. So go ahead and move on, grab as many colors as you'd like. You're just gonna keep making these fuzzy rings around your design. Feel free to pause the video at any time to do so. As you move further and further out from the beginning design, you can go ahead and make your fuzzy lines a little bit larger to fill the space. No matter what size the lines are, keep remembering to turn your paper as you draw them. I like to keep that scrap paper around so I can put it underneath and draw my lines all the way to the edge of the paper. As you can see now, some of our colors may overlap one another and that's totally cool. Just keep following the design and turning the paper.
to complete the color burst project, we're just gonna keep making our fuzzy lines all the way to the edge of the paper. We don't wanna leave any white. We want the color burst to reach all the way to the end. Now I have these little white spots left over. I'm just gonna grab any color and just repeat the fuzzy lines just to fill them in. Just gonna fill that little last white spot in. And get that last little corner. There you go, a beautiful color burst piece of artwork. And like any good artist, when we're finished, we're gonna clean up our materials. I hope you enjoyed making this colorful piece of artwork with me today. Have a great day, artists.